Uh, hi, we're Team Angry People, <laughs> and um, I'll introduce them. Lewis is here. He's the sound guy. He uh, got 3D sound working. He put this recording in. He's booting the game already. I didn't know we were starting so fast. Uh, Hiley is uh, highly productive, <laughs> and uh, after this, he's going to be highly drunk. And <laughs> He worked on, um, well, he helped put out fires with just about everything, I guess, shaders and um, just game logic stuff. Maron worked on the network. We rewrote the network from scratch uh, probably five times, and <laughs> he helped with that. Uh, Ola. <laughs> Ola. <laughs> Ola, Ola. Ola, Ola. Worked on uh, the AI and um, setting the waypoints, some of the spawn points for the static models, but mainly just the behaviors, the state logic for the AI. <clears throat> Zach, on the end, is our gift from the iChem to help us with art, and he's talented, as we'll see as soon as it loads. <laughs> Oh, you need two volunteers. Oh, yeah. I was still introducing, and then Eric on the end, who never played a 3D software before, but he still is able to pick up Maya and learn how to play with all the buggy exporters, and he did good. Oh, uh, yeah, we need two volunteers, so who wants to play? Okay, go ahead. Oh, I didn't even see what the game's about. You're going to be playing as a bird that poops on people. <laughs> uh, so go ahead, anyone. Go ahead. Yeah, so I put together the team... Sometime last quarter, I basically just walked through the labs uh, while I was writing my compiler for 131, and uh, I just asked them, who wants to make a game where we poop on professors? So this is, uh, this is who I came up with. And uh, Oh, yeah, I'm Ryan. I did the other stuff. <laughs> oh, and I should also mention... Everything in this game is from scratch. All the models are original. Uh, the animation engine we wrote from scratch. Um, the only thing that's not from scratch are the steering behaviors of the AI. Where's the sound? Can we connect the... <laughs> uh, the, the only thing that's not from scratch is the sound engine and the uh, steering behaviors. We used open steer for the AI. So this is supposed to be... Uh, you, you play as a bird. <laughs> you play as a bird in. Uh, you're stuck in Price Center, and you have dysentery. Uh, okay, I'm talking about some of the technical stuff. So when you fly up, he plays a, a hard flap animation, and if you fly sort of horizontal, it's a softer flap that it blends to. And then go aim down and soar. You have a soar. And I don't know why he's going off to this part of the level. Go back to Price Center where, oh, you want to land on the sun god. Okay, go land on the sun god if you want. Oh, we also have a sphere versus tri-mesh collision detection that we wrote from scratch. And it works. And that was one of the hardest things in this engine, actually, to get right. So you can go ahead and run into the sun god and you'll bounce off. Or you can land on it. Maybe he can land on it. Land on it. There we go. So there's our bird. It showed the idle animation. It, that took effort. So uh, everything in this, uh, all the level mesh is normal mapped and texture mapped by Zach. And he did an amazing job. We, we didn't actually have the textures in until, I don't know, 24 hours ago. <laughs> and um, fly back to Price Center. That's a more... Um, Yeah, where's the other players? I don't see anyone on the radar. <laughs> you, you could okay. Uh, one thing I wanted to brag about is that you could poop on anything in the game, but actually, uh, other players and NPCs and the level. But however, the statics, uh, like if you go down lower, there's umbrellas and trash cans. Uh, the poop doesn't work on those yet, but you, you can poop on people and the level mesh. <laughs> Um, yeah, actually, there's people I wanted to thank, but we're already 
playing the game. Um, so there's some mentors uh, that were physically so distant from this project that they probably don't even know that they were mentors, but um, Steve Rottenberg was definitely one of them. He's hiding in the back for some reason. Uh, also uh, Wolfgang Engel and uh, obviously Jeff. <laughs> Try and poop on another bird. We actually have the splat decal on another bird if you can. Or if one of you land. So anyhow, the way you win this game, uh, we haven't quite figured it out. <laughs> I, I guess it's whoever gets the highest score. Um, oh, the NPC. Well, they're... Uh, okay, so the NPC logic, uh, it's a separate system. There's basically just a graph of waypoints that they go to, and if you poop on them, it interrupts whatever they were doing and makes them run to something else. Uh, we had this whole elaborate system of them uh, having food, and when you poop on them, they drop the food, and then you get the food, and it refills your poop meter, but it got cut. And uh, what else got cut? There's actually a lot of static models that didn't make it into the engine simply because we ran out of time. Like we had the models, but then when it came time to code it. <laughs> oh, yeah, and there's uh, ellipsoids around each NPC so you can't collide with them. The same with the statics. <laughs> what are you trying to do, Lewis? What? Oh, oh, by the way. Yeah, for some reason, we were all pooping on Hylie. Uh, that was the first model I made, and we, for some reason, we just used it for everything. <laughs> um, so yeah, there's no professors in this game to poop on, unfortunately. Um, just because we ran out of time, we ended up with Hylie. Uh, Hang on. So, uh, our names on are on these signs. It's a little Easter egg. If you read the, uh, he's a little too close. Where are you going, Lewis? <laughs> oh, he's showing up. Does that work yet? We had this effect where if you flew out of the level, it would just, you'd hear a F-18 roar and you'd just be feathers. But I don't know if it made it to this. It did not. OK. That was a dive. So one of the challenging things of this game was figuring out how to make a third person uh, bird flying game that you could also aim in. So that's accomplished with, if you hold down the right mouse, you enter this aim mode. And then if you notice if you steer the aiming, if you hang a sharp turn, there's a little delay between the bird uh, blending to whatever you're looking at. Neat little effect. <laughs> oh, and the meter on the right is his poop meter, so it slowly fills up. Can you go somewhere where there's people? So originally this was going to be a tower defense game actually where each player played as a bird with its own nest and your goal is to poop on people so they would drop food and then bring the food back to your nest. But uh, it ended up just being a poop on people game. <laughs> we ran out of time. <laughs> uh. <laughs> oh he's got some poop on his wing now actually. <laughs> There's actually a funny bug when we were first doing the poop effect. 
where you, you could poop on yourself if you were going too far. <laughs> Uh, he's covered in poop. Did you poop on yourself? I thought we fixed that bug. Oh, he, he pooped on you. Okay. So, in terms of the engine, uh, every NPC and every player compute a desired next state in one loop, and then another loop goes through and checks against the physics engine and the other colliding volumes and makes sure that the next position is valid, and if it's not, it computes you know, the physics physical response or it changes the state. Oh yeah. Full feather jacket. <laughs> yeah, unfortunately the tree models did not make it in. We had a nice tree model that Eric made and they were supposed to be right there, but <laughs> Hailey Hailey has a very nice camera, and we went around uh, Price Center when it was empty and took photos to generate all these textures you see. What about sex? I think there's 70 statics right now, which isn't that much. But yeah, if you guys have any questions, just yell a question. Maybe that'd be easier for me to... <laughs> What's up? Uh, what poop? <laughs> Which one? <laughs> the one on the bird? <laughs> uh, I don't know. <laughs> hmm? Uh, Lewis found them. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's funny, we actually have female screams, but there's no female characters. <laughs> it's all just highly. <laughs> but, uh... Yeah, poop on the stairs. We actually pr we have a neat thing where we grab what polygons are near where it intersected and use those for the projection. So they're actually... It, I made up the math for it, so it's the projection matrix I call poop space, and we project the, the verts and the UV coordinates for the, uh, the splat effect there. <laughs> hmm? Uh, Lewis did that because we actually had a Firefox logo as our like splash thing. We were just testing it and it ended up staying. <laughs> we're lazy. <laughs> what? Oh, okay. <laughs> Any more questions? I don't know. It somehow didn't make it. <laughs> <laughs> Have a no, it's per triangle on the sun god. Uh, it's part of the level mesh, and what we do is the whole level mesh is broken up into a grid. So it's in a grid cell, and that grid cell knows what triangles to check against. Which actually works surprisingly well. Can you lay on the top of it? Or you <laughs> Probably not. Just land in the middle of it. <laughs> no. <laughs> Any other questions? Yeah, sure. <laughs> Between, I'm sorry, what? Uh, well, it's kind of like it was done in parallel. <laughs> Zach could talk more about that.
Uh, also for the sound effects, we have uh, pitch randomization, so it's not the same poop each time, which I think is kind of cool. <laughs> oh, in the back. How's a what? Visibility? Uh, we just have, you know, a typical far plane calling. We're not doing anything special. We were actually working on the scene graph the last day. Yes? So basically the AI, they just have waypoints that they want to go to. Did it crash? No. Or you closed it? Oh, okay. <laughs> See? Right. Oh, yeah, basically there's just waypoints. And then AI in games is typically just state machine, so they just decide on what they want to do next, which is usually just go to the next waypoint unless they got pooped on and then it's run. <laughs> Are they supposed to what? The, the avoidance of other NPCs is done with a steering behaviors library. So basically they just check who's on the same edge and avoid based on force fields. No problem. All right, All right. Let's thank cool. these guys. No <laughs>